Onivia, League of Legends highlights. For Hanwha, the engage to me really feels lackluster. Outside of that, I do think it's a good comp. A lot of added safety, great front line, and a really stray, uh, strong mid jungle 2v2. But this fresh, we'll see how Delight is able to pilot it. Unit isn't anywhere near theirs, and also causes coverage. Uh, Dudu might be in trouble though, as he's about to yeah. find out. Ghost coming on in, and Dudu is in a ton of trouble, especially with the knockup coming in. He's just going to hit the minions because he knows that he is first blooded. Very Flash, nice. I'm not going to push the envelope on this one. Not taking any risks is Dudu. If Doran ends. Dudu is show his face, and the fact that Cuz isn't here and that there's no other pressure means that Viper gets a plate, denying CS, denying a cannon, even gonna do some poke damage in, and maybe even a kill onto Andil as they extend that one very far down into the box. It does mean that Andil has to be the one engaging, right? Otherwise, you will just uh, never be able to proc your aftershock. He finally gets in here, but he's already dead. It's just too much time spent in the box. Uh oh. And in the penalty box he has been this entire game. 0-2 and another kill with a lot of hide on Bush. The timing there for Zeka, very unfortunate. Leaves right as Bull face checks that. Got another knock up here. Another all out will come in, followed by the World Ender just to fly away with those big wings. Oh boy. This time the Light and Peanut are on the chase. Dudu is pretty far away, but with the flash forward, he's oh! going to get it and even predicts the dash. And that'll be the end of Dudu as rather the predicted Flash will not save him this time. Flash in that direction, he had no other other direction to go in. So, of course I'm gonna get it. And Delight is looking great on this one, but he might be a bit caught out this time around. They are gonna get the kill and there's no follow-up in the damage. And here comes Doran in the back line, and this time he can go 1v4. He's got his team with him, he is playing Cassante. This is a total wipe in favor of Hamwa Live Esports, cause desperate to kill the Thresh and he can't even do that as the light will survive, and it's basically... This is one of those games you're hoping for the Chemtech or something else, because I, this one is uh, almost definitely going to go in favor of Home Life Esports with how far ahead they are, although they might just... Oh, God, he just, <laughs> just had his soul ripped out of him. Poor Andil pulled away from any form of safety, and that'll be his fourth death as Viper will collect the kill. How about a bit more? Ooh, that was close. The yeah. cleanse, he was dead if that hit. Oh, 100%. Yeah, the, the, the priority that the ultimate of Cassandra has, has, has caught many a player. Blast cones, Valdez. <laughs> not oh, toy no. with me. Not more blast cones, please. Nothing else. Anything else. Uh, we got another hook in here, Delight. You, you've already got enough POG votes, I think, at this point. He's looking for the 12 out of 12 as now another hook is going to land, and Quantum Freak's just desperate to try to find something here. There is no Doran, but you don't need him when you're this far ahead. Peanut will be taken out. Another hook is going to land, and Dudu he is Aatrox. He is very scary, but I think once another charm comes in, oh, this time is not going to land, but they might still have the chase potential as just barely is going to get him. Having a performance here. Absolutely stellar. 12 out of 13 kills he was involved in this. Oh, because they can hold over the wall. Yeah, I think he'll oh. actually be fine. Okay. Um, it's, it's not going to look good for this fight, though, as Peanut is getting on in there. And they're just chasing. I mean, Andal's dead. The front line's dead. How many Esports just playing with their food? Feeling a bit insulted after game number two. And it out over and over and over with Lethality. Varus says, uh-oh. No! We have kill number seven on the way. By kill, I mean death. Um, kind of an a unfortunate one for Andel in this one. From laning phase until now, he has just been fodder for the side of Hama Life Esports. It's it's a support diff, unfortunately for Andel. The counter pick up the fresh. We know it can work, but uh, there do have to. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, Delight missed a hook though. Yep. What does it mean? Is the universe the same? Instead, Peanut's going to be the one that tries to set all of these up. He's going to hit that kick as now Cuz desperate to try to fight this one back. As Bull is just going to be assassinated by Assassin Cassante, of course. And now, the rest of them will go down outside of Andil, who did just respawn and didn't want to go reverse legendary as Hamalife Esports with that. All right. I, I would love to do... Uh, Let's see if he can do it. You know, a different, different sporting style. I know uh, Emily Rand at some point did a cost, but styled after... Figure skating. figure skating, of course. Oh, that was beautiful from Zeka. The dash forward into the flash charm, and they are not very long for this world. There's a nice shockwave. 
Might actually catch Doran, but who am I kidding? He's playing Cassante. He's totally fine, and Viper will go. Legendary in this game picks up a kill. And Andal's like, please don't kill me. I'm just going to run this way. Uh, <laughs> ah, is he even going to be part of this one? As the Q is going to land here on the Bulldog, he goes down. And Andal is still just hanging out on the east side. Viper is not going to be very nice to him. And we'll just cue him, flashes forward. That's going to be the end of him. The 10th kill for Viper. He's like, please look at me, media. Give me the votes for the POG. But it's not going to matter. A 2-1 victory for Home Life Esports tonight.